Hello everyone, I'm here to give you, finally, the full review of my Las Vegas business trip. As mentioned to you guys before, I attended the Paper Source Notes Symposium, which was held at Tuscany Resort, a hotel and casino resort in Las Vegas. Overall, after the seven days that I've spent there, I would say I really uh, did enjoy myself. On the resort itself, I love the food. I love the gym. I love the, uh, it was pretty quiet there. It wasn't a whole lot of noise, so I was able to sleep well. I enjoyed the accommodations were very comfortable very spacious. On the resort itself, I felt safe, but I have to admit, once I left the resort, I didn't feel that comfortable, particularly when I was walking in the opposite direction of the strip. As mentioned to you guys before, Tuscany is only two blocks from the strip. However, the reason why I was going in the opposite direction is because People told me that it's cheaper to buy, the further away you are from the strip, the cheaper it is to buy something. So that's why I was headed in that direction. Um, <clears throat> what I saw was I saw some unscrupulous looking people, to say the least. They were drunk and they were, uh, looked like they were extremely high on several different drugs. <laughs> uh, so I, um, I wasn't really too comfortable with that. And seeing that, uh, what I did for the rest of my stay, for most of my stay, is I used Lyft to travel to and from the hotel. I, there was a bus stop right in front of the hotel, but I never really had um, the need to use it. But I did like the fact uh, that they had uh, of that put the that particular thing about the location of the hotel. The other thing I enjoyed about the hotel was actually the entertainment was pretty good. There was free entertainment in the bar, and they played different types of music, so it wasn't the same musician or the same type of music being played every single night. So it sort of catered to different uh, guests at different times. So I, I like, I enjoyed that. I liked that a lot. As I mentioned to you before in the previous videos, that first day there was an issue with Wi-Fi. Well, I didn't have any Wi-Fi or cell phone problems the rest of my stay there. However, one of the Lyft drivers said that from time to time, that particular area does have problems with um, receiving cell phone and Wi-Fi connections. What I gather is next door to the resort, there's a lot, there's a huge empty lot. And I, it appears that they are going to be building another resort and some other buildings there as well. So I'm not sure if anything got knocked out or, or, or what have you, um, we'll see in the future how things uh, turn out there. And then lastly, um, the other thing that I forgot to mention to you guys before in the previous video about Tuscany is when you check in, you have the choice of being in a non-smoking building or a smoking building as opposed to um, just a non-smoking room and a smoking room, which is great. <clears throat> However, in the main area where you have the restaurants, the bars, the casino, um, it, the casino, of, as most places in Las Vegas, allows smoking. The conference rooms were right above the casino. So the smoke sometimes would, many times would go up 
upstairs because there's no separation. There's no, um, basically you take the escalator, there's no wall or door separating the first floor from the second floor. It didn't bother me too much um, the first two days, but Saturday when it was really, really, really crowded, more smokers uh, came in and it was a little bit overwhelming, um, the smoke that was actually coming upstairs into the conference room. So hopefully, um, I'm not sure how that can be corrected in the future. Uh, maybe they need a better um, filter filtration system, maybe an upgrade. I, I don't know. But other than that, um, I really don't see much of a problem with the hotel. The first night, basically, when I was there, I was just relaxing, just trying to get used to my surroundings, because that's basically how I am when I travel. And also, um, at this point, I was traveling by myself. What I did do before I left was I went on meetup.com to see what other groups were going to be attending. And I found a group that was going to be attending, joined them, and they were, one of the groups was actually having a pre-note symposium gathering for those who have never been to the symposium to get acquainted to um, how it's set up and how to navigate it. So I thought it would be a great networking opportunity for me, and it was. So I went there, I met a few nice people there that I hope to keep in contact with in the future. The event was held at the hotel next door, which is actually closer to the Strip, and that hotel is called the Platinum. Now the Platinum Hotel is one building, it's not several buildings. It's completely non-smoking. The, um, the other difference is, is that every room in that hotel has a balcony. Some balconies face the entire strip and some balconies face Flamingo Road, which is where the hotel is actually located on. So the views are just spectacular. The other thing uh, to take note, the other difference with Platinum is Platinum has a full kitchen. You get a stove, refrigerator, um, and microwave. In Tuscany, you get a mini fridge, and if you want a microwave, you actually have to ask for it. You don't get any um, kitchen utensils or anything like that. So the thing with Platinum is I would say platinum is is more for people who don't really want to eat out often and plan on cooking their own meals. I guess, you know, to save another way to save money. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I also, um, before meeting up with the group, I went to a play or show called Hitsville, USA, which was based, based on Motown. I really did enjoy that show. The singing was great. Um, they didn't have all of the Motown acts, but they had many of the major Motown acts. It was quite enjoyable. Um, there was some dancing, and surprisingly, there was some comedy, which was pretty good. So I, um, if you are from that era, if you like Motown music, I would encourage you to go and see this particular show. It was really nice. And that was actually held at Planet Hollywood, which really isn't far uh, from Tuscany. It's really not that far. But I went ahead and took Lyft anyway. It really didn't cost much. I think, what, it cost like 3 $4. So... Um, now, moving forward back to um, the meeting. Well, I couldn't stay for the whole meeting, unfortunately. Um, I did go ahead and book another show, which is the Purple Rain Show. That show 
is a wonderful show. It's really a, more of a party than a show. The musicians are great. The singing, um, they're actually also playing instruments as well. And um, one of the, I believe the guy is the musical director. When he plays the guitar, he sounds a whole lot like Jimi Hendrix. I mean, he, he's, he, he is incredible. The guy that plays Prince, not only does he sing, when he sing, he sounds like Prince, but even when he talks, when he speaks, he sounds like Prince. He favors Prince a little bit. His mannerisms, he has Prince mannerisms down and it's like you can feel the spirit of Prince coming off of him. I also enjoyed Morris Day and Jerome when they did the time. There was a lot of comedy in that show as well. Um, I will say this though. Uh, I would not take a child to the show or um, some senior citizens. It, it may, there are some instances where it's a little bit risque because I mean, after all it was Prince and there were times when he was risque uh, in the beginning. And they sang those songs, Darling Nikki and, and what have you. So just want you to be prepared. If you're a prude, you may be a little uncomfortable with certain things. But overall, if you're a Prince fan like me, you will enjoy the show. And I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's worth going to Vegas just to see the show. Okay, moving right along. Um, the Paper Source Note event, which was the main reason why I went out there. Um, it was uh, more than what I had expected. Um, unlike many other conferences, there wasn't too much um, of a push to sign up with anybody's program or anything. It was basically um, sharing knowledge, updating knowledge on mortgage notes, how to invest in mortgage notes, basically. They did have a tour to the foreclosure auction. I passed on it because I really wasn't interested in uh, buying anything in Vegas. I really just wanted the education, the knowledge, um, and hopefully to network, which I definitely did. And I met a lot of people who I found were very supportive. And I encourage anybody in the real estate industry, uh, realtors, private money lenders, hard money lenders, other note investors, I strongly encourage you to go to the Paper Source Note Symposium. We went over a lot of different topics such as seller financing, um, uh, non-performing seconds, we went over first. We went over also uh, people who got ripped off. One person um, shared his story and there was also a company there that um, helps people get the money back that they um, were scammed out of. And I think um, I, I just was blown away by the knowledge. I'm trying not to give away everything, um, but uh, I, I was just really blown away by the knowledge. There was also some brainstorming going on, particularly, um, you know, at the lunch, when we sat down and had lunch. Lunch and breakfast is included, and there's also a cocktail hour included. Um, particularly on Friday and Saturday. Uh, we sat down, we shared, shared our experiences, um, shared suggestions on uh, problems that a, a person may have with ever, with whatever um, investment they had. We shared about like what the different laws are in each state. So again, I really strongly encourage everybody to go. Another um, great thing is they instituted an application. It's an app, actually, 
for your phone call WOVA, W-H-O-V-A. Unfortunately, I forgot the code. So those of you who went to the Paper Source Note Symposium, if you can email me the code, uh, you know what, never mind. I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll probably give them a call and um, ask them. And what that is, is instead of you handing out business cards, you put your business information in that particular app and everybody who was at the no symposium who registered in that app, it's an easy way for you to share that information with one another. And I like that because sometimes you take people's credit cards or, I mean, not credit cards, sorry. You take people's business cards and you misplace them when you come home. So the fact that this app is sort of like a business card and allows you to keep in touch with the people you meet, I, I really um, appreciate them for investing in that for us. Now, uh, let me, since we're talking about uh, Vegas and investing, let me just um, give you my overview. I was really shocked and surprised at how quickly the economy turned around there. Homes are actually, in my opinion, many of them are more expensive than let's say Atlanta, who wasn't hit as hard as they were. Um, but I believe uh, in speaking with people, the reason why it was re able to recover is because it's one of the lowest tax states. They have no income tax, no inheritance tax, no corporate tax, no franchise tax, no inventory tax, no estate, no gift. You know, so... Um, when they hit bottom, everything was a whole lot cheaper. And because it was a whole lot cheaper uh, to buy, more jobs moved down there. Um, I also noticed that they're building uh, stadiums there as well. So the real estate market is definitely increasing. And as mentioned before earlier, they're building another resort next to Tuscany, which is where I stayed. So that's definitely a sign that things are improving in Vegas. And it may be, uh, you know, those of you who are still looking for a place to invest, it, it may be somewhat, uh, it, it actually did become a little bit more attractive to me, to be quite honest with you. When I go back next time, I'm still not sure if, I will um, attend the foreclosure auction. I might just to, you know, just as a learning experience, how it's done down there. Now on the last night of the Paper Source Note Symposium, I went to another show and it's called WOW. WOW was held at the Rio Hotel. Well, WOW, um, I wasn't really wowed by it to be honest with you um I felt it as though it was more it was definitely more kid friendly than um Prince's show and I know that it's a show that kids would really enjoy um there was a lot of acrobatics and circus acts I really did enjoy that part I wasn't all that crazy about the uh storyline or the the comedy it was very avant-garde, and I'm not really into that too much, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I, I, I would say, you know, I didn't hate the show or anything. I really, I, I like, you know, certain parts of it. It was okay, is, is basically what I'm saying. Um, after that, I went to the buffet because for a long time I heard that the buffet at Rio was the best in Vegas. Well, um, hate to say this, but I really was not impressed with the food. I was more impressed with the food at Tuscany. I felt that it tasted way better. The food at Rio, 
in my opinion, did not really have much taste at all. Um, uh, the other thing, I'm not sure if this matters, but I was told that they have been taken over by another resort, uh, Caesar's Palace, but I've eaten at Caesar's Palace and I love the food when I was there about 10 years ago. So I am not sure um, what's going on. Um, sometimes when one company takes over another company, people leave out of fear or sometimes they get let go. And maybe, uh, maybe that's what happened. But I, I'm, I just uh, was, you know, maybe also because I had these high expectations and they were, they just weren't met. They weren't met at all. Okay. Then lastly, uh, before the, my last full night in Vegas, moving along, I went to see Michael Jackson one show. And all I have to say to you is that is a show that has to be on your bucket list. That show is magnificent. It's incredible. It is a show that would do Michael Jackson proud, his whole family proud. It is executed well. It is done so beautifully. The costumes, the dancing, I mean, and there's there's extra. I'm trying not to give away too much. I'm trying not to give away too much. But you experience Michael in more than one way. It's not just sight and sound. Okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. And when I tell you you need to go, you need to go. You must go. If you have only one night to spend in Las Vegas, I would say the show to see is definitely Michael Jackson, the one. It will just, it will uplift you in so many different ways. Uh, it, spectacular. Spe ah. Spectacular. <laughs> okay. You got to see it. All right. So moving along. My last night. My, well, not my last night, my last day um, in Vegas, checkout time was at 11. Now, I needed to get my face done because I went and I bought this product uh, called uh, charcoal bamboo soap, which is supposed to be good for acne. It is, but what the lady failed to tell me was that my face, it'll make your face peel if you use it every day. So I was getting like the dead skin was coming off, white peeling everywhere. And when you wipe it off, more would, uh, more dead skin cells would appear and it just, I looked terrible. I used up all my moisturizer and I had no more. So I had to go and look for a spa. So I, I went that day. I, uh, the recommendation I got from the concierge was to go to either uh, Platinum or Weston. Now, Tuscany does have their own spa, but they only do massages. They don't do facials. So, because of that, um, I called both Platinum and Weston. Platinum was fully booked. Weston had room. So I was internally grateful. I went to the Weston and I'm going to tell you this. I think that that is the best spa in Vegas. I mean, I felt so tranquil and I do feel that you get your money's worth. Now, again, it's also off the strip, but it's only one block off the strip. So it's one block from Tuscany across the street. And it's also one block from the strip. You, when you take the spa, it's called Hibiscus Spa, by the way. 
uh, they give you, you know, like little snacks, little fruit and um, crackers, whatever, um, plus water. You have access to the sauna. You have access to the steam room. And I wish I, I did that before. I went and got my treatment because what happens is, is that when you get your treatment, sometimes the steam in the sauna melted off. So, and it also messes up your hair, which can't really avoid that too much, except for maybe um, I should have um, instead of packing my rollers in the in the big suitcase, I should have put it in my pocketbook so that I could uh, roll my hair and then. Um, go into those two rooms but anyway um they did an excellent job on my face i felt like some of the marks on my face actually um disappeared or minimized or whatever i mean just wonderful just wonderful um i found out that the products they use is called osmosis so there's only a few places here in my city that actually use those products but of course the price is way high the price shockingly to some of you um, New York prices are way higher than Las Vegas so I'm not going to be able to get it for the same price but I'm what I've done is I went to eBay and I found those products at a discount there I'm not an affiliate of um eBay or osmosis. I'm going to look into it though. Uh, cause I, I really feel as though it has improved my skin. Um, and I'm thinking about buckling down and, uh, after looking at, you know, a few more spas here, going to the spa and, uh, spending the money to get my, um, to you know improve my skin because I am getting older you know so they say when you get older you have to sacrifice a little bit more so yes Weston is the spa and just to backtrack um, here's what I did leave out um, oh they have a pool and that goes in with the package even though I didn't I didn't go in the pool because, you know, I'm, go I'm going to get on the plane like in a few hours later anyway. So it doesn't matter. They also had a meditation room and then a, like a reading room. So you get all of that and it was like $170. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that uh, the way they do it with the facial is they do a facial analysis to see what kind of skin you have. And what product is best. So even though I I think osmosis is the best and I love I love them, the truth is I'm not a esthetician or a dermatologist, so it may not work for you. So I would say if you go to Vegas, go to them because of that. If you can't at the moment and you want to get a facial, try to find someone who does the facial analysis. Who can say what products are good for you and um, that's what I have to say about that <clears throat> so all in all I, I I just can't look I'm looking forward on my next trip to Vegas will I go next year I'm not certain if I will go next year because the symposium is going to be in Vegas they haven't said though whether or not it's going to be at Tuscany or at another hotel the last time I checked the website so I'm not sure um, where it's going to be but I definitely look forward to going sometime in the future and um, not just Vegas itself but also reconnecting with the people that I met at the note symposium and Hopefully by the end of this, well, no, not hopefully, I will have more deals done before the end of this year and more, more, uh, assistance, help, etc. So take care. Bye for now. And remember, you have to go to Vegas. 
business trip or not, you have to go. You will get all of your life and then some. Okay, bye.